On NPI. Okay, we're not stopping. We're gonna we're gonna keep checking this out because so, every week there's new stuff. There's new stuff, um, and this is in partnership with DigiKey. New stuff every week. New products. Your NPI new product introduction. Introduction. Okay, I'm gonna grab my notes because. I'm gonna what is this thing? Okay, so this one is actually interesting because last couple weeks we've picked chips or components or sensors or something, and. Um, this week, I actually wanted to feature some of the um, educational resources that you could also get with new products. New products aren't just about products. I know, you're like, but products in the name. Uh, it's also about um, resources uh, for engineers. Um, and this is actually something I would have found really handy when I was designing the wave bubble. So if you've ever done or want to do RF circuitry, um, you know, you have to change the way you lay out your circuits. You can't just, you know, plot parts on where you want and connect traces, you know, the thinnest trace you can get, send it out to Oshpark uh, and hope that you get the best performance. For a lot of these parts, especially as you're getting into, you know, 100 megahertz, gigahertz plus range, um, the type of PCB, the way you lay it out, the components you use is really important. So um, this week's IMPI is going to look at a nifty collection of RF reference designs and eval boards that are published by NXP. So it's NXP slash Freescale. Um, they have a bunch of like really intense, powerful, amazing RF chips. Um, they're used in science, military, medical, uh, you know, all kinds of technology, cellular, uh, communic telecommunications. So um, you're trying to basically make chips that can like you know, beam data around really, really fast, and you want to get the best possible performance, um, especially since, you know, your link budget is limited, um, either by, you know, your power availability or your antenna or your legal limits or whatnot. So, um, the, you know, there's a bunch of eval boards that are available. So this one is the AFIC901. It's a two-stage uh, high gain amplifier. You can see there's an input SMA, output SMA. It's like on a beautiful ceramic PCB. Uh, these aren't uh, inexpensive, but, you know, if you really want an eval board, you don't want to spend the time getting this like ceramic piece together and like bolting it on. Um, these are really nice little plug and pay pieces. And then when you go to NXP's website, um, you can see they have, uh, you know, data sheets and um, DXFs of uh, all the layout information. And I like how they, they're, they're really clear about exactly where you want to put every part. You know, what's the component values? Um, how far it has to be away. It's not, I, you know, the one I downloaded, it wasn't like, um, like an Altium file, it was a DXF, but it still had enough information that you could duplicate it into your design. So you can use as a little building block, um, a proven RF design, so you don't have to worry about like, oh, what if I didn't do a perfect job? Because RF is, is so tricky to get right. Little things, um, you know, the a twist of an inductor, the thickness of a trace can make a huge difference. Okay. To see, so there's, these are some of the other eval boards um, available. They also like look really cool. These like beautiful designs. Um, I think I saw like you know there's this eval board for this two gain amplifier. Um, there's about 400 designs for download from NXP. Uh, some you know you have to register, but it's free. Some you have to request, um, maybe because of some export compliance or because of the, the technical requirements. Um, but I saw like 50 of them were downloadable. And I just started picking through them, and I was learning a lot about uh, different layouts. Now, if you want to get it, you can type in this code um, <laughs> into DigiKey site. Um, you can search for it in ways that Play Data said, but this is the DigiKey part number, and they also have a section. This is the website. Yeah. So this is what I was interested in. I was like, oh, this is like kind of handy. It's just like you know all, all these little little gain stages and amplifiers and and maybe splitters, PLLs, all that stuff. Um, so check out NXP. They make a lot of good RF chips. And that is Ion MPI. Ion MPI.